everyone, my name is Tatiana and my channel is Created by Lady T and in this channel I talk about quilting, crochet and sewing. I give product reviews on related items. I also give quilt alongs, sew alongs and crochet alongs. Today's video is my 12 blocks till Christmas and what I'm doing is I'm creating 12 blocks that I'm going to put together with my scrap Christmas fabric and I'm going to create a wonderful quilt top and I'm going to show you how to assemble it using backing and a binding and batting and I'm going to go through all the steps of how to put together a quilt. So this today's quilt, today's block is block number 10. Yes, it's November and um, the, the, the series is almost over. We, after today's block, we will have two more blocks. And then after that, the first week of December, I'm going to show you how I assemble this so you would have a wonderful gift to be able to present to somebody for Christmas, or you can keep it yourself, or you can donate it, anything that you want um, with this wonderful quilt that you want to make. I will, um, when I'm putting together the materials for assembly, I will have a video only on that so that you can prepare and get your purchase your materials and what it is that you're going to do. So um, today I'm showing you block number 10 and here is how I put it together. For block number 10, I decided to use uh, more jelly rolls that I had and I really like these because they're very pretty with the different color Christmas trees and the reindeer and then there's the snow snowy fabric behind them and then the middle it's held together with this red fabric that I have so I think this is going to look really nice I'm at these jelly rolls that I have here I will sew these two sides first then I'll sew these two sides and then I'll have the triangles left over and so the sewing of this is going to go fairly quickly the layout and um, thinking about the size of the squares and triangles was the hard part. So the sewing part's gonna go very fast with this. I'm going to start again, I'm using my ink. I'm starting with the two blocks that I have the two, I'm sorry, the two strips that I have first, the smaller strips. That's number one. Now the next one I'm going to so this way, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go and press this. I want to make sure that the pictures are aligned so that the reindeer's feet are at the bottom of this side. I got this and then I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to press first. I'm looking at my block. I have sewn all four sides and now what I've done is I've put these triangle block, triangle pieces where I want to line them up. I'm going to pin these before I actually go to sew them just so that they stay in place. I've tried it against the ruler to make sure that it's all that it all fits. And then when I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam down each side and then press the block and then I'll be done with it. All right, so I've pinned my 
um, pieces here so that they stay in place while I'm sewing each side. I'm going to sew all four sides together and then this block will be finished. And here I go sewing up quarter inch seam on my sides. I'm doing this with one hand. All right, I got all the seams sewn, but I need to still press this and I need to cut it up a little bit and um, measure it up. So I think I'm I'm getting there with being happy with this block. Just a little more work to do. So I'm waiting for my iron to um, heat up. And once my iron heats up, I'm going to press this and then I will uh, cut the sides a little bit, measure them up. They're just a little big. And I have my 16 inch square here that I use as um, kind of like a template to um, make sure that my blocks are about the size that I want them because I want them to be 16 inch squares while I'm doing this. And then when um, I go to sew all the blocks together, I am going to cut them down, but I just want them to be a little bigger while I'm working with them and I'll be adding sashing. So that's why I use this ruler to help me guide me. All right. So here's my block. I squared it up and I put it all together and this is the back and I'm really pleased with this one. This is really kind of cool and I have two more blocks to do after this before I put this quilt together. So if you want to see how I put it together, if you want to see the other blocks, subscribe to my channel created by Lady T. Give me a thumbs up, comment, also, in the description box below, I have my previous nine blocks that I've done. And um, each, each video in the description also has the measurements for these blocks. So take a look at that and let me know if it works for you or what you're going to do. Let me know if you like this. I'd like to hear what you have to say created by Lady T, and I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Eee!